everyone, it's me from New York. As you know, coronavirus, those days, befades the world, and many governmental systems almost collapse. I share this video with all people across the globe, and I'm sure it will redefine our comprehension about what does human rights mean. And here, United Nations, where many independent experts, special rapporteurs, highlight the human rights violations and naming the countries that violated the human rights. Amid this pandemic, let's go over the humanitarian work and see how countries responded to their nation's need. Let's start with the UK. British people got stuck abroad with no help. Old British nationals stuck in the airport after Emirates cancelled the flights and said they'd have to stay in Bali for three months. The UK embassy in Kuwait said, no financial assistance, go to charities. There's no fruit, there's no vegetables. You just need to stop it. Let's move on to Canada. Businesses call for subsidies. And the outside, many Canadians got stuck abroad. And by the way, the Canadian government last year arranged the travel for Saudi teenager fleeing from her family. Thousands who are stuck abroad looking for help from the government to get back to Canada. There's about a thousand Canadians that are here struggling to get back, you know, trying to find ways, reaching out, and nobody's willing to help. Okay, let's move on to Spain. They are asking for humanitarian assistance. Necesitamos ayuda. Leganés. Se está muriendo. No hay sitio en el hospital. Esto es una vergüenza a nivel nacional. I'm I'm in from Lyon, France, in the line in front of the supermarket, and now I'm here. Wow, it's not easy to find what you're looking for. In the U.S., let's start with Sanders' tweet about human rights. This system, the system of capitalism, where profit matters more than people, is so damn sick. And the coronavirus is showing us all its symptoms. We need, for everyone is guaranteed free, high-quality health care. Many businesses are closed, so the working class people lost their jobs. Gloves and masks in the United States are sold out. And Tennessee tells doctors to use pairs and goggles as a protection. Last year, 36 countries issued joint statement about Saudi Arabia and they expressed their concerns about human rights and some of these countries are that I mentioned above. In contrast, let's take a look inside Saudi Arabia and see how they responded to this pandemic. Let's start with the non-Saudis who are living right now in Saudi Arabia. I'm actually advising Americans that are in the kingdom that I, I would strongly consider sheltering in place. Food supply is good, emergency services are sound. In Arabia Saudite, hôpitaux publics, hôpitaux privés, tous accueillent, soignent les malades du coronavirus. Masks and gloves distributed for free in the street. All Saudis outside the kingdom hosted, isolated in comfort. See what? Our Saudi government provides us with five stars hotel full board free of charge. I am Saudi. I got stuck in Moscow and my government provided accommodation at five-star hotel with the three full meals. I'm Saudi. I get stuck in New York. My government will provide me free food and five-star hotel. If you look at healthcare, if you look at life expectancy, we're not. We're looking if at you look human, rights. human rights. I know you the government will cover 60% of the private sector salaries. On top of that, Saudi Arabia granted free treatment for patients who got sick from coronavirus. Whether are Saudis or non-Saudis. If I get sick here in New York, they will ask me about health insurance. This pandemic shows us the real value of the citizen to its government. Thing you hear about Saudi Arabia, it's based on false allegations and sensationalism which serves the politician or press agenda or interests. To conclude, what Saudi Arabia did, it's not a human right. It's something more far away from our comprehensions. Something called fatherhood, which is much well respect, love, and care between the government and its people. And this should be taught next year here as a role model in the United Nations. Thank you.